Hello and welcome back to LFDC University. On this channel, we talk all things passive income and digital design, of course, with full walkthrough tutorials so that you never feel left behind. If that sounds like your jam, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification so that you get notified every single time I post a video. In today's video, we are learning how to make our very own custom Canva frames. Finally, I'm so excited to go over this with you guys because Canva's built-in frames are amazing, but they're very limited. But what if I told you you could basically make a frame out of any shape you can imagine. It opens the doors to so many different things. And when we open the doors to so many different things, that means we open the doors to lots more money potential. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Canva. I'm just using my base 3600 by 3600 pixels. It really doesn't matter, but that's just what I like to work in. And I have two images already set up for us that I think would be really fun to kind of make into frames, but I also want to do some text, but I wanted to do that with you guys. So let's choose uh, some sort of text. We're just gonna click add a heading and move that up there. And then I think I'll just do, we'll just do the hello. That, that works, right? That works. We'll just do the word hello. And then let's choose a font that might be fun to turn into a frame. And I don't think one that's like really thin would be fun, but maybe something that's a little bubbly. That's cute. I like that. So something that's just a little bit bubbly, I think would be fun to turn into a frame. So we have these ones. We have uh, a little, what do you call this? Abstract style shape. And then we have this peace, love, soccer ball type image. I think that's pretty good to start out with. Um, maybe we could do, I think that's pretty good to start with and gives us a little bit of variety so you guys can get the idea of what can really be done when you're choosing to create your own Canva frames. So we are going to do one at a time and I do have the ability to share or to download uh, things in SVG format because I do have Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, Canva Pro, I highly recommend it. And I will put a link in the description box below so that you can get started on your Canva Pro. It is by far the best design platform for a beginner or even somebody who is a seasoned pro. Uh, honestly, the best for your money. But I will leave that link below. But if you do not have it, you will need to do another step and I'll show you quickly how to do that. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you would want to save it as a PNG or a JPEG, just like this, JPEG or PNG. And then you're gonna want to use a website like convert.io, Convergio, I usually just call it Convergio. And you'll want to choose a file and then you'll want to convert it over to SVG. You do need to start out with an SVG for this to work, okay? So just want to put that out there. It does need to be an SVG for it to work. I'm going to go ahead and add a page here and just drop these two down here below. And I'm going to make this a bit larger and put it right there in the center. And then I'm going to save this page one here as we'll do hello frame. There we go. And then save as an SVG file. All right, and we are going to be using a program called Photopea and it is a free program. It's a lot like Photoshop, but it's free. You can do this in Photoshop and I believe you can also do it in a program called Figma, which is also free and then Affinity Photo. Basically, you just need a program that has a clipping mask option and you should be able to do this. So we're over at Photopea. All right, and then we're gonna open from computer and grab our Hello Frame SVG. There we go. And you'll notice that we have a ton of layers in the layers panel. The first thing I wanna do is get rid of the background. So I'm gonna select the background layer right here and I'm just gonna delete it 
and then delete it again. And you'll now have a transparent background with that checkered right there in the background. Each individual letter now can be selected, but we still have way too many layers in the layers panel. So we need to merge those layers together into one layer. And the best way to do that is to select all the layers at once. You can click on the top layer, hold your shift key down, select the bottom layer, that will then select all the layers at once. And then if you right click on the layers panel, you can go down to merge layers. Now we just have that one layer over there in the layers panel, much prettier and now we can work with that. Next, we're going to grab any image. It doesn't matter what the image is. This image is just going to be a placeholder and will be deleted, but I'm going to choose just a 12 by 12 digital paper that I have and you're going to just pull it in. So I'm just gonna do file open and I'm gonna grab a digital paper that I have. All right, so I have my digital paper that I've created and I'm going to just move this over on top of my SVG image. So I'm just gonna grab it and pull it on over just like that. Okay, so now it's just on top and now we're going to create a clipping mask. A clipping mask is basically just going to take that image and it's gonna put it inside whatever shape you have as the SVG. So in our case, it's the word hello. So we're going to go over to the layers panel where it says background. That's where my image is. You can see the image right there. And we're gonna right click and we're going to click clipping mask. Perfect. You'll know you've done it right when the image that you have on top goes inside the SVG image shape that you have. That's all we have to do. It's that quick and that easy. Now remember, this image is just a placeholder. It's gonna go away. It's what's going to hold the place for that Canva frame that's coming next. So we're gonna go to File, Save as PSD, Make sure that you're in your download section. If you just grabbed um, an image from another area on your computer, it might default to that like it did just for me just now. So we're gonna click on downloads so that I know where to find it. And it's helloframesvg.psd is what it's saving as. So I'm just gonna save it as that. Now we're back to Canva and I'm gonna delete this hello out of here. And we're just going to upload that PSD file now. If you don't see it, just go here and then click all files so that it pops up that PSD file. And then when it uploads, it's not going to be in your regular uploaded section that you're used to in Canva. It's going to be in your project section where other files go like PDFs and things like that. Okay, so clicking on projects, here it is right here. So I'm just going to add that to my canvas now. And it looks exactly like it did in Photopea. But now we need to remove that placeholder. So you can do it two ways. You can either double click it and that image gets really big and we can delete it from here. Or we can go up to delete and then delete image instead of delete frame. So whichever you feel comfortable with, I usually just double click, make sure the image is big so I could see, and then I just hit delete. And now you have your frame that you can use. So let's go ahead and do one more today. I know that I had three here, but I think you get the idea. Let's do this one and then we'll put something in each of these frames so that you guys get an idea of how easy they are to use. So we are gonna go ahead and move this down to page two here and we're gonna save this as an SVG like we did before, except this time I'm going to put, uh, we'll just call it piece frame. And we're gonna save this, except it's page two. And we're saving this one again as an SVG. Don't forget that you do have to start out with an SVG, so make sure that you use a file converter if you do not have the pro version of Canva. All right, and then we're back over to Photo P, and I'm gonna leave my fantasy frame there, but this time we're going to just X out of that, and I'm going to open that last file that we just had, so the piece frame. There it is, and we're gonna do the same process we did last time. So I'm gonna take off these two background layers, and it looks like there's not a whole bunch of layers on this one, so that makes our job really easy. All we have to do is grab this layer right here, or this image right here, pull it over, put it on top, and then again, that clipping mask. There we go. And then we're going to, again, file, save as PSD file. Head back over to Canva. 
upload. Wait for that to upload and then we'll have yet another frame. You can see how quickly that you can really get these pumped out and created. Okay, now we're just going to double click, delete, and now we have two frames. We have the hello frame and we have this frame here that we have created. So now let's go ahead and just put something fun in here. Let's look up some sort of uh, digital paper or pattern. Um, let's just do a sunset. Let's just do a sunset image. I think that would that would be fine just to show off how it will work. That's good. And then all we have to do to use a frame, just like always, is we just move it around and now it's in the frame. And you make it yourself so it's yours. No one else has this frame but you because you're making your custom frames. And there we go. How cool is that? So now your options are really endless now when it comes to using Canva frames. It's so fun and it's so exciting to see a shape and know that you can create it into it, literally anything you want now. I hope you guys love today's video and I hope to see that you guys are going to be using Canva frames in the future to make your own amazing custom frames. If you do, make sure you let me know down below. I can't wait to see what types of things you guys create. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that's super helpful in the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.